Hi guys, and welcome back to Highgard, the capital of Vestia. So last episode we were building the walls and also the fort, and we have named the fort, uh, so it's now called Fort Hasselgraffer. And I've started a small series on that, doing the interior of it, and I plan to kind of do the same with a lot of the other builds that we do in this. I think it's probably going to be the best uh, way forwards. But today we're going to be moving on to the lower port. Um, so I know that last time I asked you guys if you wanted a port or if you wanted me to start in the slums and it looks like the port one and actually does make quite a lot of sense uh, as it will set the scene as we uh, continue to build up the city. So I started building up a sea wall. Uh, a lot of, uh, I've kind of like taken a lot of inspiration on this one from uh, Novigrad from The Witcher 3. Uh, of course, it's a quite a big, you know, quite a big port city itself. And one of the buildings that I really, really liked from from Novigrad was actually where they are building two small ships. So I thought this would be awesome to actually have like a little ramp go in. Uh, it also was a really good natural split for me as well. So uh, like picking where it was uh, gave me a workable area to, you know, well work with. So I've got quite um, you know dirty gravel down the bottom. Then just building up the framework, as always, using uh, different coloured walls um, to kind of like distinguish different bits of walls. So I've got the uh, light magenta, kind of like pink, from a stone brick and yellow as uh, this kind of like light grey, grey kind of rock, and, and then using the floor as well. And with the roof, I had a bit of a mix, so um, I coloured it in with, well, using two different colours. And then just finishing off with some wooden trim and getting a, a really nice arch going with this one as well. I wanted it to look quite uh, fancy. So then I went around to the side and I started to add in bits of wood and this was mainly to give it a bit of detail. So you can see using the, the bits of wood I did end up moving it a little bit there. Using the beams as well to make it look like it's got a bit of support and I was pretty happy with it and then uh, cutting into it as well using uh, the vertical vertical slabs and also the uh, kind of like corner corner blocks as well that are in conquest and then as we go over to the back so I wanted the back to be a little bit different but I've still got the same archways um, but I want to put in a couple of windows and also build a couple doorways and I it took me ages to actually decide what I was going to go with with the doorways and um, I actually ended up changing them to basically what we've got here, where we've got, uh, well, what we did have, <laughs> where we had trap doors on top. So you can see me just adding in a couple of beams and adding in the last couple of details. So coming on to the inside of this building, uh, I wanted quite a fancy <laughs> roof beams, I think. Um, and I did spend quite a bit of time messing around with this uh, to get it to look right and reshaping it, but I was pretty happy with what I had in the end. You can see the big uh, kind of archway as well, made out of stone brick right in the middle. So now we're going to build one of the smaller ships. So this it's currently in production is a couple of small sailing ships. And they're just being built indoors, obviously. So just setting out a nice area here. And also putting in a small crane. So I thought that would be quite an interesting thing to have in there. Uh, and I'd need that to help uh, lift up any, any heavy planks or anything like that. And then just putting a couple diagrams on the side, just adding in small details. Now to take a break, I decided to move over and build a small bridge going over our path that comes from the main gate. Um, this was mainly, well, it was just it was just to take a break really. Uh, but I did want to actually get this in before I did any major planning so that we've got a bridge and then everything will work around it. I definitely with this city want to have quite a lot of different levels. Um, and this was one of the ways that I could actually force myself to, to do that. So you can see me adding in all the different bits of detail. I did mess around with it for quite a little while. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out in the end. It can have two carts going, obviously, uh, either side of it. Then moving down onto the bay area, um, I built these very, very large uh, piers. So we've got a couple of piers here, and they're at angles, but then I make them go straight. Uh, this is because I'm going to put some ships on there in a minute. There we go. So we've got some ships. So this one we've got in front of me is a trade brig, and you can see me uh, just editing it, switching out some of the blocks, and also tying up the sails. So I've got to add in some more rigging on this one. 
but it's almost done. So this is one I haven't got a tutorial for. And then here we have my 14 gun brig. Uh, so I do have a tutorial for this one, but I just wanted to uh, obviously just tie up the stales, tidy it up a little bit because um, when it did get imported, it wasn't uh, perfect. Then moving on to another one of the houses. So this is another one that's based off one from Novigrad. It ended up being uh, only <laughs> kind of loosely in shape. I was actually planning on doing almost like a recreation, but it just it didn't didn't end up being a recreation. Instead, it being used, yeah, it kind of ended up being inspired. So you can see building over the uh, bridge because of course Novigrad has an absolute ton of these bridges going over the roads, and I really like them. So I decided to put those in and also going with a bit of a funky uh, roof pattern using vertical slabs as well. And I actually really, really like this roof. Uh, the vertical slabs really make uh, allow you to do a lot of it. Now you can just see me adding in a bit of a wooden bit on the side and also adding in a crane. So like the houses in uh, Amsterdam, which are quite near the river, uh, there's quite a lot of... Uh, the, basically the paths are really, really small, so they, they ended up having cranes on the upper levels. And I, I kind of wanted to do the same thing here, so i um, got a warehouse at the top. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually extending out and making a lower area for the docks. This was actually partly to... Well, I didn't want to do a 45 degrees uh, building behind it, because I, I just didn't think it would look quite right. Uh, so instead, I cheated a bit and took... Well, <laughs> I built this little area here, so it all hides it. Um, and it allowed me to push back uh, and, and well push back and push forward at the same time with some buildings behind it when we get onto those but I was pretty happy with the area in general so now I get onto a smaller house this one was going to be a little bit fancier so I've used colorful slate on the bottom and I've also used a kind of like brown uh, wall mix instead of the yellow that we've got right next to it and I'm pretty happy with it actually I, that is one that I haven't used before but it seems to work now with this extra bit of area here that we've got inside I ended up putting in a wattle fence and we're just going to have a couple barrels and things like that, as well as um, a couple of little plants in there. So you can see me digging into the top part of it to add in some more detail. And then adding in a couple more windows. So you can see it's a lot, well, it looks a little bit fancier. And then messing up that area there, that kind of like small yard in a way. And also adding on to the side of the other building that we had before. And now we'll get on to another one of the buildings. So this one I went with uh, very, very white. And it's going to be something probably along the lines of a pub. And again, inspired from one of the buildings in Novigrad. If you guys can find what it is. I don't know if you guys want me to show you some pictures at some point. Uh, of the kind of inspiration pictures that I took while uh, playing The Witcher. And uh, what they actually ended up being. Because they did, they did change. But I was quite happy with how this one uh, turned out, and I ended, in, and ended up using a lot of greenery around it, having some vines going down, and it, it made it look a lot nicer. I think the, the white with the red roof and then having vines on it is really, really nice. So now I've added in one of the schooners, and I've added it uh, kind of right next to that lower section that we've got. And you can just see me switching it out for some of the more Conquest mod blocks and upgrading it a little bit. Most likely I'm going to change the colour of it. I think it's a little bit too dark using the dark oak. And it could be quite nice to have some variation. So down on this dock side, I wanted another one of the arches going over over the roads. But this one is going to be uh, most likely a harbour master's office or, or a customs office or something along those lines. So it's part of the local government uh, being on top of it. It's got a nice view as well of the dock. So you can see me switching out all those materials. And again, I've gone for a kind of like yellow top on this one. I couldn't decide what to do with the, um, with the, with the basically with the, the wood part of it on the outside of the roof, and I ended up switching this out again. So you can see how I've tried to make this one look a little bit fancier, like it is some sort of customs house uh, with a nice balcony, so they can again uh, look out over, over the bay and see the ships that are coming in or or leaving. And you can see me roughing it up and making it look like it's been there for quite a while as well, and mixing in some more. Uh, dirt into the main path. Now we're going to get on to a warehouse. So this is one of the bigger warehouses that we've got. And it's quite messy. <laughs> now I don't know what I'm going to do with the, f the area in front of it. I might uh, just end up putting like maybe a small uh, fish market or something like that in front of it. But this is another one that's inspired from The Witcher, but it did end up really... Well, you can see when you actually see the one in The Witcher, it does look very, very similar. 
but actually size-wise and shape-wise it's slightly different. But I'm pretty happy with it in general, so I've got lots of these uh, kind of like uh, windows at the top. And this is something that I actually saw on the Witcher one, and I decided to add it onto this side. And we might have it as something... Possibly we, we could have had it as a, a chimney. So now you can see me building the paths and joining this up. Using the pink wall for the more of a dirt, and then using orange for a dirty cobble kind of mix. And this time I've got it kind of raising up. I want to, like I said before, have lots of different levels in this city. So that you don't feel like you're on a flat at all. It feels more like it's built into the hills. So we're just adding in the last bits there. So here we go guys. Here is Highgard and the lower port area. It's taken a very, very long time uh, to get all the houses together. But I'm really happy with the style. Uh, it feels quite mixed. And obviously these are, because they're, they're next to the ports, they've got a little bit more money. You can see those two ships docked. We've got the brig. Oh, actually, we've got two brigs. We've got a trade brig, and we've also got a 14-gun brig uh, on your right. Now, probably next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to start building onto the area behind these houses. So it's where we build a marketplace. Uh, or we could build some of the trade or, you know, kind of uh, workshops, things like that. So you can see the front there. This is this is my uh, kind of favourite bit, and where we've got the ships being built inside there. And most likely we're going to have another area for ships and bigger ships. And most likely we'll get onto the area behind this on the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.